Hey friends, Barrett and I are out walking the trails at our favorite park. It's pretty busy today, so we're gonna head back to the car for the rest of this video. But what I wanna talk to you about today is truth and specifically where you look to as your source of truth. And we're back. Do you like my doggy barrier? It does absolutely nothing. These guys are smart. They figured out in like the first minute and a half, you can just put your chin here and then the bungee cords, it'll pull it down and then they can get in my face. So that was a waste of money. But um, so truth and where you go for your source of truth. So I've been trying to make a habit uh, every single morning of making sure that the first thing I give my attention to is my Bible study. So no going into email, no hopping on Instagram, Facebook, scrolling, uh, not even checking like text messages and this sounds really crazy, but not even like checking the weather, things like that. Because once I open up the apps, it's like Pandora's box, everything else comes to follow. And um, it's really easy to say, well, I'm just gonna give five minutes, you look up, it's 30 minutes an hour later, right? So I wanna make sure that the very first influence on my life is the Word of God. When the first thing that gets my attention is social media, the news, you know, all of the essentially worldly things, when that is what gets the first bit of my day, I feel just heavy my brain doesn't work quite right um, I'm trying to explain the feeling but it's like this oppressive feeling like your judgment your thoughts your emotions are being kind of clouded and um, it makes sense because believe it or not psychological study goes into developing these social media apps uh, I saw this really great documentary it's called childhood 2.0 it focuses a little bit on how social media affects the upcoming generations, but it also talks about how a lot of the tricks used in gambling and casinos to keep people wanting to come back for more is the same kind of effect or um, just psychological strategy that's used with social media uh, and the apps that they develop which was pretty wild. I highly encourage you to go check it out. There's way more information than that, like three hours worth, but um, it makes a lot of sense. When the world is what you give your first fruits to, the first amount of time in your day, the rest of your day is not going to be as, I guess, productive or well-focused. And I've felt that in my own experience, my own habits, my own life, bringing it back around to what I mentioned with truth. Let's be real, we know that most of what is on social media is not the actual truth. And you know, you can get mad at people for not being able to see what's really true that you can see clearly in front of your face because you have that discernment. But keep in mind, people who don't have that relationship with Jesus, who don't have the Word of God to go to for actual truth, especially as like the first influence on their day, where do you think they're going for their truth? Where do you think they're going for information or almost like a guide of how to live? It's looking at the social justice causes, looking at what the news tells you you have to be scared of today, looking at whatever irrational nonsense is going on in politics, right? And then letting that steer and guide the rest of the day and the way that they just go about life. And I'm definitely not perfect. Like I said, I've had mornings where I'm like, well, it won't hurt just to, just to open this app or just to check my email, it's just my email and see what's going on. It's pretty hard to have the self-discipline, especially when you get into a pattern of, okay, what's the first thing I do in the morning? Oh, I check my messages, I check my social media, I check my Facebook, whatever. When that is your habit and you're trying to break that because it's so ingrained into you, it is hard to have the self-control and the discipline, especially when, you know, your mind is trying to convince you it's not that bad it's not really gonna have that big an influence it is the things of the world are yes they can be very blatant and in our face 
but it's also so sneaky and so small. Just the smallest thing will creep into your mind, creep into your routine, and rip things apart from the inside out. I know that sounds dramatic, but society doesn't crumble in a day. It's very slow degradation over tiny little things seeping into the cracks to rip it apart. So I just wanted to share that with you today and also issue a challenge. Go a week where the first thing you do in the morning is a prayer, a scripture, something to focus on your relationship with God. Do not touch the phone, none of the social media, none of the apps, the technology. Set that aside and make sure the very first influence on your life, on your mind, on your heart, your day, whatever, make sure that the Word of God and real truth is that first influence on your day. I hope this has some kind of meaning in your own life and uh, ways that you are going to challenge yourself to grow in your relationship with the Lord. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you again next time. Tracing my footsteps through the wind Back to a place where I could